All right, we will get started with Mark Weiser and Mike Griffith. James, how's it going? How you doing? Good. I um, wanted to ask you about kind of this offense with, with all you guys coming back at uh, running back, and then you, you add Gilbert, uh, you know, at the receiving core. Kind of, there's a lot of excitement about it in terms of the ability to be explosive. How do you think you guys compare to, you know, like a team you went up against last year at Alabama in terms of being able to put up a lot of points week in and week out? I mean, we just focusing and, and working right now. I mean, like we, we know we got a good offense. So, I mean, we just working right now and just coming together as a team and as an offense. Uh, yeah, James, I was wondering, were, were you one of the players that went out to California with JT? And, and you know, what was, if, if so, what was that experience like? And just, just working uh, as a receiver as well as a running back in general, maybe. I mean, just getting that connection together, like just having all the guys together, like while we were going in the month of May, like we were separated for a long time. So we just kind of got together like that a couple of days, just had like kind of getting a connection with them more. All right, up next, Chip Towers and then Charles Odom. Yeah, James, JT talked about this in, in Birmingham, talking about the biggest issue they have is just – where to go with the football. I mean, what, what do you want to do on any given play or whatever? You know, you obviously, it was a big deal that you came back for your senior year. Uh, are there any concerns at, at all that, like being able to, to showcase your talent enough for trying to get to the next level this year? Or, uh, you know, is, does that happen regardless of, of where the ball ends up going? I mean, all I'm trying to do is just win, you know, win games this year. Just go out, national championship. And SEC championship, that's all I'm focused on. I mean, that comes, like, when you do the thing, right things. So, like, if I get the ball, I don't, I don't. If I do, I do. So, that's kind of what it is. Thank you. James, how does it um, affect a summer, an off offseason, uh, when you have a, a, a potential top five showdown looming to as a season opener? I mean, we just focus on us at the end of the day, and we just trying to focus on us. And I mean, it's just another game. I mean, we all played in big games, so that's how I feel. All right, up next we'll go to Connor Riley and then Palmer Toms. Hey, James, how much more comfortable are you at this point this year than you were a year ago under Todd Munkin and his offense? I mean, I feel a lot better. I mean, just like me being older, I know a lot and then I'm learning it more like concepts and things like that like the quite wide to catch the football so just learning a lot like every day and try to take it to the field. Yeah James obviously there's been a lot of talk about some of these new guys that, that y'all have added through the transfer portal but in the running back room it's a lot of the same. How nice is that to look around and, and kind of have a feeling that you're continuing what y'all and building on what y'all did last year? I mean, it, it's a great feeling that because we push each other every day. I mean, we work hard, like all the guys. Like, we all work hard. We all push each other every day, and we all compete together. So, it should be really special this year. All right. Up next, we'll have Jake Rowe, followed by Ryan Curley. Hey, James. Uh, you know, there's been a lot of talk about your skull sessions and things like that. Um, is there any player that you feel like you were able to connect with uh, this offseason, anybody you were able to really get to know better, and, and who might that be? I mean, just, like, period. I think I um, got to learn my team better as a person. Like, because, like, before I didn't know, like, I didn't know, like, what was my team, like, my teammates wise. Like, so I didn't know, like, what they were really playing for. So now that I know, like, I, I, I bet you know everybody, like, why? And, like, no, like, we got, all got that connection because of the skill session. So that's why I feel it. James, who do you think is the hardest running back to tackle out of your group? All of us. All right, up next, we'll go to Jed May and then Lance McCurley. Oh, Lance might not be on here anymore. Uh, we'll go to Jed May and then we'll go to Vance Levy. I'm still here. I'm not going anywhere. Uh, James, um, you know, you kind of mentioned this a minute ago, but being in year two under Todd Munkin, for you specifically, I guess, how much has that led to you over the summer? You know, I guess experimenting with different roles, splitting out wide more, all that kind of stuff. I mean, how much, 
more do you think you'll be doing that this year now that you're more familiar with the offense? I mean, I don't know as as Coach Munkin decision, but I feel like I think we're going to do it a lot, but I'm not sure. Like, but we did, we just started camp day, so we're still going in through the install day one. So I don't really know, like, as of right now. Hey, James, I, I asked Coach uh, just a few minutes ago about, uh, you know, the the last couple of years, there's been a little bit of fall off as far as long game changing, uh, explosive running plays. Uh, what, what do you think has been the difference? And is that a point of pride for that unit and particularly you being, you know, the leader of that unit this season? I mean, yes, um, I agree, but we started practice. And I mean, we're going to fix that this year and get to work today, start a year four. And, and it's going to be a lot of changes in our offense. So that's what I feel like. All right, we will open it up for a couple of questions. Whoever wants to go next. I'll go, James, just wondering uh, the NIL thing. Uh, you, you know, we've seen what a lot of guys have done. What, how has it impacted your life? And, and um, you know, you've seen a lot of changes just in your career in college football. How do you see that kind of affecting the game? I mean – I mean, if you don't handle it the right way, it can affect your team and your, you as yourself. So I just feel like I just push it to the side for my last year and just handle business. All right, we have time for about two more questions. James, what's going to be the biggest difference uh, for you um, this year from last year? Obviously, you, you've grown each year, but where do you think you've made the biggest strides this offseason? This offseason, like just being a leader more. And like being more vocal and, and saying things to guys like like last year, I didn't feel like I did that very good. So just speaking up more and like using my voice instead of coming off the wrong way to my teammates, just kind of get them together and like lead them on and like that, like that's good and stuff like that. Hey James, what does Arik Gilbert bring to this offense, and how does he sort of help you guys? I mean, just adding him is is. is it's a big difference, but we still got to play football at the end of the day. All right. Thanks, James. Appreciate you, guys. You. All right, everybody. Thank you for joining us today, and uh, we'll see you as the season goes on. Thank you.